Hi, Chuck here again, and in front of you, I have my second project that's in a box. So here we go, volume two. Hey, Chuck, what's in your box? Well, let me just open it up real quick here, and inside, I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, no frame, right? No, frame couldn't fit in the box. Let me just look at that right now. Kind of have it partially mocked up. Um, this is another one of my projects that is on hold right now for one reason or another. But in any case, here we go. It's a Martian 2, 250 millimeter frame. Going to make this a six inch build. So I basically tried to go with some real budget uh, motor setup here and decided to try these new motors. It's a 2406. Actually, a BR2406S 2300 kV fire edition motor from Racer Star. And the reason I picked this motor is one is that it's five, um, yeah, 5S capable, and that it um, did pretty well on uh, 3S with uh, six, uh, six inch props. So we'll see. I'll be playing with a 3S, 4S, and I hope to maybe throw on a 5S at some point and just see how crazy that gets with a 6-inch. I don't know if that makes any sense, but at least I'll have a quad that's uh, set up with ESCs and motors that can handle 5S. So, which leads me to the, the next component. I talked about the um, 5S capable or capability. Decided to go ahead and use these um, Speedex ES30 ESCs. Uh, these are up to 6S capable. And, um, which is good. So I just want this quad to be capable of going with the higher uh, battery cells, but the motors are only 5S capable at this point. So that Speedix ESC. Oh, let's go with the, the heart of this. And I decided to go with the uh, J Bardwell F4 all-in-one Betaflight controller. And, um... I saw Joshua Bardwell talking about this, and uh, it's a, it looks like a pretty good flight controller, and I'm looking forward to checking it out. But uh, let me just quickly pull it out and talk about a few of the things on it. Um, let's see. So it has a current sensor built in, so you put your batteries input right here. It has um, SD card, micro SD, for black box logging. Let's see, I'll just go over the the highlights here, but uh, here we go. The J Bardwell F4 AIO FC. Yeah, I think Joshua Bardwell is uh, pretty good. I watch his his station or channel. Yeah, this is uh, sold by Race Day Quads. Let's see, what else on the back here of note? Nothing, okay. So up on the top, basically you hook in your ESCs on the corners. You have your signal and ground uh, pads on the inside there, um, which I think I'll just go ahead and use those because I'm too lady to lady. <laughs> sorry, I'm too lazy to uh, desolder the um, ground wire for the ESCs. And I think you know, let's just go ahead and use the the grounds for the ESCs. What else has a built-in um, OSD? So you have your camera. Camera inputs um, up here, camera outputs, you have your S-Bus. What else? Yeah, that's pretty much the important stuff. Um, so that's it. Um, oh, soft mounted with the gummies on the corner, which is cool, but that presented a bit of a mounting issue also. So what happens is, even though you have those gummies in, it still raises the height of the flight controller because all of your other standoffs are going to be standard sizes. So unless you plan on cutting down your standoffs to to be something like a half height, you're going to be a little bit higher using this uh, uh, J. Bardwell um, F4. Have my handy dandy ruler here. So yeah, we're looking at about 10 millimeters off the frame, which is a little bit high. So we'll have that on there. That's the J Bardwell flight controller. 
Speedex ESCs. Um, I bought both of these things from Race Day Quads. Um, I went full full budget on this one. Not budget. I went, uh, you know, I bought them, bought them all from somebody in the United States and uh, paid paid a premium for them. Okay, so I bought uh, some stuff. Let's see, what else? Oh, I did not talk about the camera here, so I decided that I was going to use a run cam owl because I wanted to be able to fly this quad in the twilight and, you know, when it was dark maybe. So it's going to be more of a um, quad that I, you know, just fly for fun. I'm going to take it on vacation with me and stuff like that. So it's going to be a versatile uh, quad for... Um, all light conditions, and I heard that the Runcam Owl is a good camera for all around. So it may not be a good uh, daylight camera, but I think that um, in the evening and stuff like that, it'll be pretty good. So have the um, Runcam Owl cameras there. So what else on the list here? Um, oh. Be using a FR Sky XSR um, receiver, and I think what I'll do is I'll build a little 3D printed rack that goes on top of the flight controller and mount it there. And this build, I had a problem with the VTX. Um, I was going to use a you know a square mount. VTX for this and just mount it right on top of the flight controller. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I had, I had originally planned to use this new style VTX. Just mount it right on top of the, the board. And uh, it's an 800 milliwatt because I'm going to try to use this for long range eventually. So I decided to just go ahead and get an 800 milliwatt. But the MMCX connector um, was broken off, I mean, before I got it. So I couldn't even plug in the antenna, the pigtail for the antenna, which is just as well because after looking at this for a bit, I decided that I wanted to just get a regular traditional sized uh, VTX and just mount it under the top plate in the back like all my other quads because I kind of like that. And what that does is it leaves the bottom of the... Um, frame in the rear open. So so I'll mount the um, new transmitter um, under the top of the under the top plate and I'll mount the receiver on a 3D printed tray right above the the flight controller. So that's pretty much the setup. Oh, one last oh, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, these uh Cute little antennas. I'm going to use this use this little antenna. Um, let's see what else I have in here. I think that's it for the goodies. All oh, these frames, they come with a power distribution board, which I am not using. Um, you know, I'd probably want to use a different power distribution board anyway, but this is uh, looks like an integral type of a thing for the frame, but it does come with a fiberglass um, option so that you don't have to use... Um, this piece and it's kind of heavy. It feels like it's got a lot of metal in it. So, in any case, a little bit of weight savings there, perhaps. But the last part of this are the propellers. Let's see. So I have a couple different uh, props here that I'm going to try. So I have the um, HQ. Both of these are polycarbonate durables, but this is the uh, six by four by three. And this is a 6x3x3 by three by three V1S. So I, I decided to go with the two different props to try them out because I also have another 6-inch project that I'll be talking about in a few minutes here. Actually, not a few minutes. Um, in the next video. And, yeah, you guys are really going to love that one. So, so I'll get that one on as well. But I have another 6-inch uh, project coming up. So that is, uh, that's it for... The mock-up on this Martian 210, I'm sorry, Martian 250 with 6-inch props using the Racer Star 
BR 2406S motors at 2300 kV. And uh, this is going to be interesting. So I'll, I'll uh, be playing around a bit, try a 4-cell, try 3-cell, and maybe try a 5-cell. Okay, so that's it. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.